In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the LearnDash course grid shortcode with the Buddy Boss theme. After launching the theme, this has been one of the top requests from our customers is the ability to use this course grid plugin slash shortcode so you can have customizable course grids. So we've gone ahead and added it and I'm going to show you how to do it. So here we are in the WordPress admin. We're going to go to LearnDash LMS add-ons. You will only see this menu if you have an active license key with LearnDash. So this is the one, the LearnDash course grid. And you can just click install now. And then activate. Okay, so that's activated. And now we're gonna go ahead and set up our course grid. So just to remind you, if you're not using this method, you will already have all your courses listed at the URL slash courses. This is basically the LearnDash course archive that comes with LearnDash. And it's gonna look nice like this in our theme. But we can go ahead and set up our own customizable course grids now. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new page that will host our course grid. You can call this whatever you want. I'll just call it learn dash course grid. And then we can go in here and under Gutenberg options, we can click learn dash LMS blocks and select learn dash course list. So that's gonna show the grid of courses now. So let's go ahead and click publish and see what happens. All right, we're gonna view the page. And just like that, we have our courses showing up on our customizable grid with lists and grid view. And the cool thing about this course grid is that it's extremely customizable. So what we're gonna do is click into the grid here, and then you get all these options that reveal themselves. So just to show you some, I could remove the thumbnail. Like that. I can add the thumbnail and hide the content. And then we get this cool view. And then I can turn the progress bar on. Let's turn that on. Now we see the user progress. We can set the columns to more or less. So for example, I can set it to two. And now we only see two columns. Or I could set it to four. And now we see four columns. And we max it out at five. So if you try to put in 20 columns in here, that would look crazy. So we allow up to five max. And then you can also adjust which content actually displays here using the course grid options. So for example, the order, I could say I wanna order it by title and do that alphabetically. So that will be A to Z and click update. And now we can see A, C, G, right? It's ordering alphabetical top to bottom. And if you come back here, there's some other options, for example, you could just display courses by a specific category and you can also display by enrollment. So you could say to only show courses that the user is enrolled into, and then you could relabel this like my courses, or you could set it to courses the user is not enrolled into and use that as a method to encourage them to buy those courses. So as you can see, this is extremely flexible and customizable, and it's all supported in our theme now. And I want to show you one more option that comes from our theme actually is these users that show in here. So if I go into Buddy Boss theme options and then click on Learn Dash, we can turn the course author on and off. So if I turn that off, that's global. So right now that turns them off here and it turns it off in the courses index when you're viewing an individual course, it's a global setting. And that's it.